in this section of the course we are going to explore snowpipe service which comes in built when you set up your snowflake account snowpipe is meant to load the data continuously from different channels for instance you are generating the data from different channels such as it can be log streams and it can be pub sub system such as kafka which is sending the messages continuously to s3 files also you can also take the data from other relational databases and put it into s3 and it, it can also be possible that someone is manually placing the files on s3 now you want to consume all the data to snowflake so manually it is very uh, inefficient to load the data every time once it is received on s3 location snowpipe is a service which makes all this process automatic we have to create one pipeline through which all the data will be flowing from s3 to snowflake and that service is snowpipe 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 enables us to pick all the files that are located or stored on s3 location and then using s3 notification and sqs service of aws we are going to configure snowflake and s3 both so that once ever once the file is loaded to s3 location a notification will be sent to snowflake to take the data and the data will be autom automatically ingested from s3 to snowflake so the file will be sent to respective tables of snowflake using snowpipe service so this is a serverless loader which do not take much resources and this is a inbuilt feature of snowflake so there is no additional charge for using snowpipe however you have to incur some cost for the compute services as well as for storage services and finally using snowpipe service we are loading the data into the snowflake database and into the respective tables as per the configuration in the next lectures we are going to see how we can implement the snowpipe service to load the data continuously forever let's see how we can do that